let's start the haul video from the two thrift stores that Green Bee Explorer and myself hit up for Black Friday and Black Saturday. Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. Today is going to be the haul video. This is part three. If you haven't seen part one or part two, the links to those videos will be down below. That is the thrift with me or shop with me videos. It was my daughter and I. We did a mother-daughter Black Friday, Black Saturday shopping. And today is going to be the haul video of everything I got at both thrift stores. I am going to start with the first thrift store that we went to, which was the Salvation Army. We were up in Shelby Township, Michigan, and um, I ended up only getting one item. Uh, I had lots and lots of items that I had to leave on the shelf because the prices were way, way too high. The purple tags were 50% off, but nothing I was looking at had a purple tag. And they were really trying to push the clothing because they always have so much clothing. So it was something along the lines of if you bought five purple tag clothing items, they would be a dollar a piece. And that particular day, I was not looking for clothing, even though I do sell on Poshmark. I was looking more for the vintage hard goods and um, or any type of thing that I can flip for a profit. Um, but I particularly look for you know the vintage and I found a bunch if you go to that video and look and um, I wish I could have gotten some of those things for 50% off because it I definitely would have I would have filled my cart with all kinds of items if the prices had been cheaper but I ended up just getting one item and it was this one and let me just let you guys look at that for a second I paid $5.99 for it it is the oval platter. It's a Franciscan. Um, this is considered the apple pattern. To me, it almost looks like giant cherries, but it's considered the apple pattern. That's what they call this. Now, if you ever see this pattern, but it's made by Weller Pottery, it's worth so much more than the Franciscan. So keep an eye out for this pattern and they do all kinds of dishes in it they have the serving platters the tiered servers they have um the turkey platter in this is is worth a lot they have round platters of this they have you know like the butter dishes i think they have the whole set so this is worth uh picking up let me show you the back of it and with my phone camera because i'm using my phone this might be backwards but just look at that stamp I think when I use my other camera, um, it is in the right, um, you know, the right way. So you can actually read it, but it just says hand decorated and it says Franciscan and it's made in the USA. Um, I paid $5.99 for it and just know that anytime I talk about prices, I pay taxes on it. And then sometimes I do round up occasionally. Um, so in this case I did pay taxes and I rounded up. So I ended up paying $7. So I'm in for $7 for this platter. Now, when you look up the solds comp them out on eBay, the prices on these are all over the place. One person actually sold this platter for like $7 and then another person sold it for like $38 free shipping. <laughs> so the prices are all over. It kind of averages in that $20 range. So that's why I picked it up. I was like, okay, I can, you know, pay $7 and sell it in that $20 range, you know, plus shipping. Uh, and of course this will also be up on my Etsy shop and sometimes you tend to get um, uh, better prices on uh, Etsy than you do eBay. Uh, it is all over the place. Um, sometimes people put them up for auction and they don't get bid up because you know it's a you know vintage item and um, so then they sell for really low prices or the person is like maybe just trying to get rid of it and so they put a really low price on it to to move it along. Uh, they were trying to clear out their store. So that can happen on eBay too. So in trying to research the prices on this, it was really hard to figure out whether or not this was worth picking up or not. But I just love this pattern. And I thought it was worth picking up to sell in that anywhere from say 20 to $25 range is what I'm thinking. And that is the only thing 
that I got. Oh, I'm going to put this. I'm not going to put that over there. Oh, I can put it right here. I can put that next to me. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video for a second because I have to unwrap the rest of the items. I have two, two boxes and a box lid full of items that I got at the second thrift store, which was the St. Vincent de Paul. So just give me a second and I'll be right back. I'm going to start with the first thing you guys saw in my cart. This is the Fenton hobnail uh, bowl. It's a, you know, like a candy dish or just a serving bowl. It was $1.99. And it's worth between that, you know, $12 to $14 range, maybe $10 at the low end. Uh, but I wanted to pick it up because I almost never find this. Or I have found it in the past. Didn't think it was worth much. And I put it back on the shelf and... And um, I regretted doing that. So now I'm like, I'm going to pick it up when I see it. Uh, it's worth saving and keeping it out of the landfill. And so um, paid $1.99 and thinking thinking I'm going to get somewhere in that maybe $10 to $12 range uh, for that. I have another item over here. And this one was so neat looking. Look at that. I just thought that was so neat. I knew it was going to be Libby even before you guys aren't going to be able to see <laughs> that little L under there. But um, I, it was 99 cents and I was so hoping that there was two of these. There was only one, but I am, I'm not past picking up a single glass. You can sell a single glass just like you can sell odd numbers. Sometimes people are like, oh, only pick them up in twos and fours. And, but you can sell three of things, five of things. It, it, it doesn't matter. No matter what number of items that you have, there could be somebody who just recently broke one is only looking for one, or they're just trying to complete a set. You know, they have three and they want the fourth one, that kind of thing. So I paid 99 cents for this. And I think um, it's probably about that eight to $10 range. I don't think I would get a lot for just this one by itself. I could not find any of these listed at all. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit more research uh, to make sure I'm right about the price. It could be that this is more rare and it would be worth more. And then in the video, you saw my daughter picking this up and looking at it. It says Brown's Creamery. This is uh, Detroit, Michigan, it says on it. It's a, um, And when she handed it to me, I immediately looked at the bottom and it said Dura Glass. And it's spelled D-U-R-A-G-L-A-S. So that was, you know, an indication to me that this is definitely vintage. It has some other marks and numbers up here. Um, she was having a hard time comping it out. I would think at a low end, it's in that, you know, 12, you know, 10 to $12 range, but it could go much higher again more research now when she was looking it up she just kept coming up with the company the you know the company's name and logo and things but um i'm going to do my own research and we'll see you know and if it turns out to be that 10 to 12 dollar range that's fine because we only paid 99 cents for it and we meaning me i paid for it <laughs> um my total spend at the saint vincent de paul's was uh, 58 dollars and two cents and so I'm starting with my low end items right now. Um, and then I'm going to get to the bigger items that go for a lot more later on in the video. So make sure you keep watching to the end here. Um, this was just so cute and adorable. Oh my goodness. I saw him on the bottom shelf. It was only 99 cents. This is um, a modern uh, mug. However, they sell this in all the different breeds of dogs. And I just love that bright orange. It's a golden retriever on there. Um, and it says Go Dog um, by Paper Russell's um, Department 56. So that was the other thing that caught my eye was Department 56. And I was like, oh, it's possible that this might be vintage um, or getting close to being vintage. Anyways, these go for between $12 and $15 a mug. 
and that's why I picked it up. I, I like selling mugs. They're easy to ship. You know, I just have a variety of mugs on my eBay and my Etsy store, and I sell them all the time. So sometimes they're vintage, sometimes they're modern. I do the Starbucks mugs. I do mugs of all sorts. Um, and I just recently did a video, and I'll have to put a, maybe the link. I'll put it maybe up here. Um, I just did a video on weird and um, unusual mugs that you need to keep an eye out for. And they sell anywhere between $50 a mug the whole way up to, and then they average in that $200 range and then the whole way up to almost $1,400 per mug. <laughs> there are some artists out there or designers and it's definitely something you know to keep an eye out for. So I have my things over here. Now the rest of my items are kind of behind me. I'm going to stop the camera for a second and I'm going to rearrange and I'll be right back with you guys. I am back. The next three items are items that I actually picked up for myself. And I'm going to start with these. You saw us grabbing a second cart. We actually filled two carts at that store. The prices at St. Vincent de Paul in Shelby Township, I'm going to give them a plug here, are so fantastic. That is the thrift store. If you're in that area, that's where you want to go. They just they have their color tags and uh, yes. you know prices in terms of what's you know off you know 50% off that day, but they just have really good prices in general. So pink tags were 50% off that day. This says 99 cents on it, so paid you know let's say 50 cents a piece. Um, there was nine of these on the shelf and I put all nine in the cart because I wasn't sure if I was going to get all nine or not. And then in the end, I ended up putting five of them back and I only got four of these mugs for myself. These are modern. They are false graph. And this is a microwave and dishwasher safe made in China. Now, false graph, the vintage items were actually made in uh, the United States and are, um, they're still not worth a lot now. I think those are items that if you have them and keep them for another 10 years or so, that they may go up in value as we go along here because they are going to be, they are already vintage, but I think the value of them, even though they were kind of mass produced, I think they're going to go up as the years and decades go on. I remember, you know, but, you know, getting the false graph plates. I would go to carnivals when I was a kid. This would have been in the seventies, right? And you, it was a dime pitch and I could dime pitch and, and win plates and things like that. And I won so many plates. I actually had a full set of plates when I went to college that, you know, that I got for a dime a piece. Well, maybe more than that. Cause you have to, you know, kind of toss a lot of dimes sometimes to, to win a plate or whatever. Um, but I got them for so cheap back then. And of course I gave those away or donated them. You know, I don't have them anymore, but anyways, um, uh, I got these for myself. We are Penn Staters and I immediately was like, ah, Penn State blue and white. Just love that. And this kind of goes along with my other channel, which is Start With Coffee Adventures. If you guys haven't heard me talk about it before, I have a second channel. It's all vlogging. It is about uh, gardening. It's flowers, you know, my flower beds, my veggie garden. It's recipes. It's my traveling. It's coffee shops. It's all kinds of um, adventures of all sorts. It's our boating, my boating adventures, uh, skiing adventures. It is also uh, going to, I have a lot of videos out now of our little puppy dog, Lola. It's, we have a Jack Russell Terrier. And so there's a lot of that on there. So the link to my other channel will be down below. In fact, I pop that in on every video. So it's always down there. Please go over there and subscribe. I'm trying to grow that channel as well as this channel. Please subscribe to <laughs> Left Lane Pines as well. But anyways, okay, done with all the plugs. Back to this. I just love this. I love the design on it. And at some point, even though it's just made in China, if I keep it long enough, it'll become vintage and maybe it'll be worth something later on. Um, so I'm happy for that. And then um, I started picking up ceramic turkeys. And I actually have one. This is These are hobbyist pieces. These This one down here... Um, is it? It's not even, no, they're not marked. So this is a hobbyist piece. So these were at the ceramic shops that people would go and they would paint them so they could pick whatever colors they wanted. And, um, so I have one just like this downstairs 
and that is going to be some bonus footage at the very end end of this video is I will show you the other turkeys I did a whole video on my starts with coffee adventures of my um, Thanksgiving decor it's a you know decor tour of um, my foyer and my piano um, I paid $3.99 for this one the other one I had bought at a um, antique uh, plaza and um, uh, it was actually called Plaza Antiques. It's an antique mall is what it is. And I paid $10 for that. So I'm averaging down my turkeys. So they're roughly $7 a piece now. And I'm collecting them all different sizes. And, and I'm trying to get vintage ones. Um, and uh, try to create like a nice collection of them. And then at some point, after I'm done, you know, maybe enjoying them for a while, because that's what resellers do. We enjoy them for a while. I will eventually put these up for sale, but that not that might not be for a while. I think I'm going to keep these for a, uh, quite a bit of time before I resell them. Uh, so, uh, like I said, stay tuned for that at the end. The other thing I picked up for myself was this beautiful little glass pumpkin. Now, this has a barcode on the bottom underneath the tag it was a dollar 99 for this and let's see if can i read anything on that let me see oh it just peels right off up oh. uh yeah i can't get this i'm trying to get the store tag off without ruining the other tag let me see if i oh it's coming off um it just it was made in China. Um, yeah, it's not telling me anything. <laughs> there is the bottom of it. So this is modern. I'm actually going to take that whole tag off because I don't need that on there either. Um, it's just got a big hole on the bottom. But I am collecting up glass pumpkins. So not all of them are vintage. Some of them are modern, like this one. But I'm going to be keeping these for a while and I'm going to use them for my fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving decor. And that's what I like about these. And I don't collect a lot of things. So I think with all this thrifting and reselling and being part of all of the um, collabs that we do on YouTube with, you know, decorating for the holidays and this would go great in a tiered tray. That's what made me start thinking about what can I you know collect and keep for myself that i actually would enjoy and i you know started finding the turkeys and then i started with the pumpkins and that's where i'm at right now so um that was it for the things that i bought for myself now for the most expensive items not what i paid but what they're worth is coming up next before i show you the last two it's not two items but i mean it's a lot of items but they're um all the same uh, is two sets of dishes is what I bought. I want to give a shout out to the people that work at that St. Vincent de Paul's. The cashier couldn't be nicer. The, I came up with this whole cart full of breakables and I was like, hey, do you have any boxes? Because, you know, I was thinking, how are we going to get this out? They can't just, even if they wrap it, you can't just put it in, in plastic bags. It was way too heavy for that. She says, yep. And she immediately ran away from her station, ran to the back, grabbed a bunch of boxes and, and brought them up. And then another gentleman immediately came over to where I was and he started to help wrap. And then he offered to carry it out, but we were able to get it into the cart in such a way that, you know, um, we weren't going to put boxes on top of the boxes or anything like that and break anything. But he was, you know, right there on top of everything. And I just thought that was really good of them. So I'm giving a super shout out to the St. Vincent de Paul, in Shelby Township, Michigan. Um, so anyways, this was the one set of dishes that Green Bee Explorer found these. <laughs> they are Oneida. Let me make sure. Yeah, Oneida. Uh, again, this might be backwards for you guys. Um, it says Holiday Harbor, Carol El Eldridge, Eldridge, Carol Eldridge, 1989 it does say microwave and dishwasher saved freezer to oven i always <laughs> the oven part always cracks me up who is putting dishes in the oven i mean the only thing i can think of because my mother-in-law used to do this is if everybody had dinner but there was one person coming late she would put a plate together right of the food and then she'd put it in her oven and have her oven set to like 
200 degrees just to keep the plate warm until that person got home. She was kind of thoughtful that way. But anyways, these were 99 cents a piece. I got 13 of these. And that is a lot. And they're thick. They're heavy. I, first, I thought they were restaurant wear. I, you know, I was like, wow, these are really nice, really good plates. And if you can see on there, I'm going to bring this up again so you can see it's like got the harbor with all the boats and it's got the houses up here. I'm not sure where I was pointing there, but uh, you guys get it. Um, these go for anywhere. Um, well, a set of four sold for $52 and change plus shipping, um, which would make these like $13 a piece. But let's say $10 to $13 a piece. Here I'm showing you sold items of the Holiday Harbor. So keep an eye out on it. I would call this a bolo. That means, you know, I paid a dollar a piece. So I paid $13, right, for 13 of them. And at $10 a piece, that's $130. At $13 a piece, that's $160 some dollars <laughs> without doing them. I should get my calculator out. Um, it, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, what I say? 13 times 13. Who can do that? $169. Um, <laughs> I should know that. But uh, anyways, um, anywhere between what I say, $130 and $169 plus shipping for these. And I'm definitely going to be selling them, you know, as sets of four and then um, so that would give me three sets of four and then one single plate by itself. And uh, so that's how I'm going to, uh, because that'll make it for easy shipping. And um, if anybody wanted all 13, I would definitely, you know, package it up in a way that I could sell the whole 13. I'm not sure why someone would, would want 13, <laughs> maybe 12. Um, but we're always, you know, with plates and things like that, you always think even in even numbers, but... Uh, I don't know. I had, you know, Thanksgiving dinners with 19 people. You need 19 plates. That's an odd number, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, but I'm actually more excited about this second set of dishes, which was a smaller set, but is worth so much more. So I'm going to pause it and uh, switch out the plates here and I'll be right back. I am back and I got my last item for you guys and stay tuned for the bonus footage when I go down and show you the rest of my turkeys. But this is what I picked up. It was an entire set of Spode. And let's see if you guys can see that at all in the back there. So it says Spode England Christmas tree. This is something, if you see it, pick it up. Just about anything Spode is worth money. Now, ironically, I thought these were worth more than those Oneida plates that I just showed you guys. I thought this was the big, the big deal to show you at the end. It turns out the Oneida sells for more than these do. And I wonder if it's because they're more like those restaurant wear plates. I paid $24.99 for a whole set. I have eight of the dinner plates. And then I also got, and I'm just going to bring out, I have teacups and saucers. Let me turn that around so you guys can see it. So it has the Christmas tree on the front of the saucer. And on the back, it has the holly on the back. And of course, it has its back stamp. So I have 22 pieces and... I have five of the teacups and saucers, but I have extra saucers. I have four extra saucers, which are very hard to sell. Not impossible, but I'm not expecting to get as much for the saucers without the cups. And I'm going to list them, but I'm going to keep my eye out for just the teacups. And maybe I can make, you know, match them up again and, you know, make sets out of them, you know, later on. Uh, it's funny, you know what sells more than the dinner plates of this is the bread plates. The bread plates go for more. The dinner plates go between $7 to $10, $7 to $10. So I have eight of these. So that right away would be, you know, say $80, you know, roughly um, at the top end of that uh, $10 a plate. I'd make $80 on that. And then the teacups and saucers, they 
like this. They go for $5 a piece. I'm going to sell it in a set of four. So that's another $20. So that's $100 just for that. Here are some recent Spode Christmas tree items that sold on eBay. I definitely think that Spode is a bolo and it definitely sells well around this time of year. And so um, I did a little calculation um, based on the, the two thrift stores. I paid $65 total, not including tax and all that. And um, selling everything. If I sold everything, um, not the items I'm keeping for myself, but if I sold everything for roughly the top dollar prices that I was, you know, telling you guys, that's $358. So I consider that a successful <laughs> you know sourcing uh, event it was a two-day event it was so much fun doing it with my daughter also she has her own youtube channel green bay explorer i think i mentioned that a bunch of times in the the first couple videos i didn't mention it in this one so make sure to subscribe to her channel her link will also be down below in the description and um so that is my whole haul I just can't wait to, I'm going to list up these Christmas plates right away. So I need to go get washing. <laughs> Got to wash a lot of dishes when you're a vintage reseller, right? So I'm always uh, washing dishes. Uh, but before I let you guys go, let me uh, go downstairs, film the turkeys. I'm going to add that turkey and the pumpkin to my uh, decor down there. And you guys get to see that as bonus footage. Oh, and, and thank you for watching. Um, please put any comments or questions down below. I enjoy reading your comments. Here is the bonus footage. Here are my ceramic turkeys. So this is the one that looks just like the one I just bought. And I moved this one down so I could squish in the new one up here on the top. See how this one looks just like the other one over there just so happy I just love the colors on both of them I recently got these two so I'm not collecting salt and pepper shakers but I thought these were so unique I love that majolica you know um, the 3d you know vegetables on there that just kind of, and the colors just kind of went with my turkey so I just got that as an accent and here's the pumpkin my other turkey Got my little gourds there and then my little home co mice. I initially got these to resell and didn't notice that the one has a completely broken foot <laughs> and he was only a dollar 49, but I decided to keep him and his brother here, um, which I love that he's listening to the cheese. <laughs> um, there's a little home co sticker on the bottom. I paid a dollar 99 for him. So, because I couldn't sell them uh, as a pair, I could probably just sell him by himself. I decided to just keep them into my decor and I can use them as well. So it's not just 100% turkeys that I have in the decor here, but this is my piano that I put my different decor items on. Um, as you can tell, I have not decorated for Christmas yet. Uh, but that is next. So stay tuned for that. I will be doing uh, holiday decor tours, my Christmas decorations on my other channel, Start With Coffee Adventures.